What's going on everybody? Trader Bryce here with Small Cap Recap and I actually have a very special guest today. Um, live and in person I have Miss Ella Monaco. Yep. Uh, I am officially dog sitter Bryce, not Trader Bryce uh, until until Matt is gone or back from he's uh, he's actually on a little work trip right now. I just got out of the shower. Uh, Ella May Monaco on the other hand, did not get freshly showered. But what's pretty ironic about today's guest is that she is typically referred to as Bear Bear um, or Ella Bear. My hair is in my mouth. Um, and very, you know, very unironically, I guess, well, ironically, ironically, unironically, however you want to say it, the market was pretty bearish today. Um, little teddy bear. And I, I'd like to think that she has a lot to do with why the market is the way it is, um, you know, Basically, bring her over to my house, and all of a sudden the market's down three percent plus today, uh, almost hitting. It might actually hit down four percent. So, Ella, we thank you for your hard work, and she is going to give a really quick analysis. Um, Ella thinks that the market can keep going down more, and she also she wants to get down. So, there you go. Put her in her little bed over here. Uh, she's having a good time over at my place, though. You know, she's I, I like think so anyway. So. That's why I'm not in the office today, though. You know, she, she doesn't like being left alone. I, I don't blame her. Uh, she's in a little unfamiliar situation. So I had to, I had to stay here. Cool Uncle Bryce. Uh, where I'm gonna, basically, uh, instead of trading, I'm going to go and take her uh, and be her wingman. I'm gonna, instead of teaching her how to trade, I'm going to teach her how to uh, get the other pups out there you know, that are out in the prowl. I'm kidding. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah, listen, the market though is really tough right now. There's not a lot of small cap opportunities and that's been a big part of why you know, I haven't been doing a lot of small cap recap. Um, that being said, this is a great time and I'll keep standing by it every day. This is a time to study, a time to journal, a time to review past trades. Um, what's, what used to work, you know, breakouts, those really don't work well anymore. Ella's venturing off. Um, oh, and now she's barking too. Uh, I've got I've got her lying here, so maybe that'll there we go keep her entertained. Um, let's let's dig on into not even some charts, like literally two. So this is the spy today. We broke under four hundred officially. I want to say um, yeah. I mean this is <laughs> this is a new yearly low um, today. Three ninety eight was our previous low. Um, of this year today, 396.50, pretty wild if I'm being honest. Um, now th that was kind of expected, you know, once we we're bouncing off that 400 level. Um, but I mean, let's let's go back, right? Like, and again, I'm just gonna keep going big picture here. Big picture, right? Let me turn off the high and the lows. Still in, you know, this it really has potential. I mean, I, I would hope we could, if if it were to fall down into the three, like sub 350. I would hope we can find that support between, you know, 350 and 330. Um, but, you know, we, let's be real, guys. The economy isn't in the greatest spot. Very inflated due to stimulus. Um, and, you know, there's just, we have to, we have to account for all of, all of that, really, when it comes to where this market can go. And, again, just from a realistic standpoint, I'm just drawing this trend line, like, this was kind of the trend of the market before we went really parabolic. And if it came down and really got back in the mid to high 300s, that wouldn't be the worst thing in terms of a healthy economy. And we'll see, you know, obviously what happens um, moving forward. No one can truly predict the future, but we're also in kind of, let me see if I can go back like 20 years. I mean, this was the last bubble. I mean, this wasn't even the bubble burst. I can't even go back to the last bubble burst. But when the bubble did burst, like air comes out of the bag. And now, whether or not we go into an actual recession, listen, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I, I think we have potential to, um, in terms of you know, economic, economically speaking, I think we're off twenty percent off highs, uh, which would indicate technically a bear market. Um, but if the economy retracts, what two quarters in a row or contracts? Uh, two quarters in a row, I believe that is officially a recession period. Um, and it's possible. You know, we're going to still have supply chain issues. We're still having a labor shortage. Even though employment is still hovering, unemployment is still hovering around like 6%, I think. Um, we're having a labor shortage and employers need labor right now. Uh, and so there's just a lot of uncertainty. And with that uncertainty, 
comes a lot less well there's a lot of range but obviously it's very volatile kind of down in a downward direction bear market and during those bear markets uh generally we don't have as much movement in uh in small caps because you're getting a lot of range in the overall market people are kind of taking their money out of the market we're getting that selling pressure if you're a short bias trader there's still a ton of opportunity now there aren't as many pops to short into but i mean basically you can you've been able to more or less just short everything you've wanted uh the past few days uh really past few weeks ever since this fake 450 break uh bwv was the one trade um i did, i personally didn't take any trades today by the way um but bw bwv was actually a really great mover today uh despite everything you know we have this i wouldn't have been looking at it in here uh and i don't trade midday but this trend break was beautiful right i mean there's it was, it was a beautiful trade. You had that 470 spot and you just had a really nice rip and it did end up just literally going all the way back down. That's the type of follow through we have right now, but it was still a great opportunity nonetheless. So if you hit that, congratulations. Um, today, I'm actually also gonna talk about a trade I took last week and ended up covering uh, at the end of the week there. Um, I got short um, somewhere in here. Mm, one of these spots. Um, in the in the low in the in the low 19s, uh, so maybe it was. Gosh, I don't, I don't even know exactly where it was. It might have been right in. Oh, I believe it was actually right over in here. Uh, 19. Uh, it was right here. It was on the 3rd of May. Uh, got short. I t only took starter size, unfortunately. 19. Uh, oh, something. 1903, maybe. Um, and we'll go over. I'm gonna go over to like. Actually, I'll just go over to a two month chart here. We basically just had like this liquidity trap in my opinion um and it still has a lot more downside room now we have that gap fill potential uh but you know i just i was happy with the the percent gain um and you know we we're we we're basing around that uh around this low here we had broken it and i i didn't you know i didn't know what the overall market was going to be like we already had a lot of downside movement um and i thought 400 might act as a better support than it did today so i was happy um once we got this trend break, this multi-day trend break, uh, I moved my risk to this this high 2035. Um, but again, originally I had taken starter size and with a it was essentially just gonna be a 50% risk with the uh, idea of building in, but I actually missed the day this fell. I want to say what day was the fifth? That was Thursday. Um, I was preparing for company to come in. Actually, I did have company coming in town that day. Uh, and I just ended up missing the ad. So in terms of risk reward for my original entry, uh, nothing, nothing crazy or with my original plan for my risk, you know, risking at 50%. That was based on math, um, on, on back testing, on data, on this setup. Um, but the original, then the plan from there is supposed to be to add with a risk on that high. And I just simply didn't get to it. So unfortunately it does suck that I didn't maximize the trade a little bit better, but I still had a great trade. Nonetheless, I ended up covering on Friday, uh, the low of day print actually was me right here, 1502. Uh, I actually had a few shares go off at 1501, um, but uh, it was again, it was under 100, 100 shares traded on that on this on that 1501 fill. I, I think I literally got like 14 shares filled somehow, uh, 1501, and then the rest was 1502. So it was a really a great trade. I got that low of day, and I, that was just an order I set in the morning and I ended up hitting. So. Really, really was happy with how that trade worked. Unfortunately, it did unwind a lot farther today. But again, I was really just happy with, I think, I mean, I got, what, 20% of that trade. So had I gotten that correct add in, that would have been a fantastic trade. But, you know, in terms of risk reward, it actually didn't make sense for the entry I took. But that's part of trading. Sometimes uh, it doesn't work out exactly as you planned. I did end up getting to move my risk to a dollar a share and I got $4 a share out of it. Um, but... Nonetheless, that basically was the only, that's the only trade I've taken since uh, whatever day I entered that position. I don't think I've taken a trade since then. Market just hasn't been there. And guys, that's the thing I want to drill across your brain right now is that this, I can get rid of the charts now. This is not the time to be forcing trades. Um, I'd pick Ella up, but she looks so comfortable down here. Uh, this is not the time to be forcing trades. The market will come back. In fact, I have a I have a feeling OTCs will actually start making a move now that the market is kind of going downhill. Uh, people are going to be putting their money into other um, into cheaper stocks, right? Like once we start finding a bottom, I have a feeling OTCs are going to have a really really nice run. 
Uh, and we just need to find that bottom first. And even if this is a true bear market, we get a lot of bear market rallies when we find a bottom, right? It doesn't mean that we'll be the bottom forever. It might only be the bottom for a few weeks, but that is when I think we're gonna get some really great OTC opportunities, which will eventually work their way into great small cap opportunities. So if you are being safe and sitting on your hands, keep doing that, keep it up, keep studying right now, right? This is just simply the best time to study. Uh, and if you guys do want some content to study, feel free to join the Small Cap Rockets uh, using the trial is what I was going for there. Link down in the description below, but we do have a lot of webinars, uh, past webinars that you'll be able to have access to, to start studying while this market is slower. Uh, this is, it's a great way to fill your day. And this is really the time where you should be getting screen time. And even if it's not watching stocks that are working now, uh, go through and look at the patterns that used to work. Watch any webinars, any videos, review any charts you can. Um, and I, I have a great feeling that once this market finds a, you know, starts to find a bottom, again, whether or not this is a bear market rally, there will be opportunities that come up. So make sure you continue staying safe. Leave a comment down below if you think Ella is a cute dog and if I'm a good dog sitter. I like to think I am. We're actually about to go outside and unfortunately she hurt, she, uh, she hurt her little paw so we can't we can't be doing too much uh, in terms of like movement and whatnot, but that is okay. She's gonna get a little walking in and it's a beautiful day out. So, you know, feel free to enjoy your day after the market closes because you have time during the market open to uh, study or while the market's open to study. Anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching. Again, link down in the description below for Small Cap Rockets so you can watch through those uh, previous webinars. Join us in chat throughout the day. Uh, Jack Daniels, again, is now in the chat and. He is a very good short trader, short bias trader. So I'm excited to uh, continue learning his short ways, especially during this market um, in chat. So fingers crossed this bottom finds itself soon. But if not, just keep studying, keep working, keep staying safe. And I will see you back here on Wednesday. Until then, peace out, everyone. We hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of the Stocks Trade community. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but we can't do it without your help. So if you enjoy what we're putting out and want to hear more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.